Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to nest multiple rows and columns. Pretty simple. We have this single row and we have three columns in here. As it stands, they take up six of the spaces in the 12 grid space. So we can get two on any single line. But inside of any column, we can have another row. So what that allows us to do is, if I get rid of this, for example, and put a div, if you know, it's the same format as you normally would, class of row, then in here, you can have what you would normally have in a row directly, which is columns. So let's put a class. What I'm gonna put is call dash XXL Dash three. You can put whatever combination you want, however many you want, you know, whatever breakpoints you want, whatever you know, number of grid space you want. That's totally up to you. But this often you know demonstrates the you know the use case of this. And twelve. I'll put literally the number one here. So this just means for the extra extra large screen size, it's going to take three of the twelve grid spaces within this row within this column. This is go from medium. Up to extra extra large, not including because we've overridden it here. So medium, lot, and large will take six. And so this is extra small and small. They all take 12. So I'm going to duplicate this so we have, again, as many as we want, but I'm going to have four. That should be enough to demonstrate what, you know, the purpose of this is. So let me save this. So this is what we get one, two, three, and four. They are equally spaced out. You might be thinking, why is there no, not as much of a gap on the left? Again, it's just because of the text alignment as you would get with this. But if you was to put a, you know, a colored border around these columns, which as an extra task, I recommend you do, you can see they are all the same size. Obviously, the way you align your text, center, right, left, that's totally up to you. Watch what happens if I reduce the screen. So it's gone now to large which is applied by this medium breakpoint. Remember, it trickles up until it hits a breakpoint that will override for that particular well, breakpoint. So we've got medium and large, and if we go a little smaller, as you can see, it hit another breakpoint, but because it was for medium, which is still six, but if I go any smaller than medium, it should be small now, Oh, no, that's still medium. There we go. We are at small. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot about extra large, not just. Yeah, I went from X extra large to large when I was explaining it. That's why there was an extra breakpoint. And now it is at small and will eventually be hitting extra small. So there we go. So that is what nesting rows and columns allows you to do. Really simple. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.